Greetings, everybody, and welcome back to Jenny LeClue, detective -o. I am the Doc of Indeed. Ooh, is it October? Gumbolt College. What the? What a mess. I should investigate. I should, but I want to go this way just real quick, just to see if there's anything. We love you, Dean Straussberry, Finkelstone Manor. The notice board was awash with flyers, personal ads, and the occasional piece of gum. I'm amazed anyone can find anything on here. Fortunately, Jenny had a useful trick to use in a situation like this. Mom always says, a great detective eliminates the noise. Focus on the details, and you'll find clarity in the chaos. Tap A. Hold. Mystic healing what Mystic healing with Gloria. Missing cat. Answers to Trevor. I wonder if anyone else reads this junk. Monthly meetup Stargazer Society. Pop-up party project this Tuesday. Textbooks for sale. Lightly chewed. Who's but chewing on him? Hold on. What's this? Town curfew. Oh no. They've extended curfew hours again. 9 p.m. to sunrise? That's ridiculous. I'm never out after those hours, so... During this period, you may experience the minor inconvenience of daily blackouts. That would definitely be annoying. But necessary. Power outages had become a regular occurrence in town. It was dangerous to be wandering around after dark. It won't be long before we need a permit to go out at all. I should still investigate, but I'm going this way. Bonfire celebration. Signs and decorations adorned the entire campus. A party to celebrate the Dean's impending retirement. Good day. Left. Left. I said left, damn it. What part of left are you having trouble with? My left or your left? My left. Obviously, I mean my left. Why would I mean your left? So you want me to move it the other way? Yes. Nothing would make me happier. If you're not careful, we're gonna have bronze brains all over the floor. They seem... busy. I should probably lead them to it. What is with her little pointy legs? Dean, oh, this is the Dean. Hello. Hello, Mr. Strasbury. How are you today? Everyone's surrogate uncle laughs like Santa Claus. A jolly gentleman. The Dean was often seen shaking hands and kissing babies around town. He's also Mom's boss. But more than that, he was her loyal friend. What do you think, Jenny? The Dean had dedicated his life to Gumbolt, and the townspeople had spared no expense in their tribute to him. Quite a striking resemblance, Mr. Strasbury. It's a scary thing, Jenny. Retirement. Great excuse for a party, though. <laughs> what will you do when you're no longer the Dean? He does laugh like Santa. I've been trying not to think about it. This place won't be the same without you. Things change, Jenny. Time marches on, and we must do our best to adapt. It's going to be difficult, but I'm sure we will get through it. What do you mean, we? Do you think they made my belly too big? Be nice. It's probably just the perspective, Mr. Strasbury. <laughs> you are a clever one, Jenny LeClue. Speaking of which, have you been practicing your detective skills? Have I? Of course, always. Well then, I have a challenge for you. I bet you can't guess what I ate for breakfast. 
At last, a real challenge for Jenny. A fiendishly difficult puzzle that would take all her wits to solve. <sighs> well, okay. Anything for you, Mr. Strausbury. Oh, how wonderful. But first, I need to ask you a few questions. The interrogation of Dean Strausberry. What he ate for breakfast. We're looking for clues. Also, here's some art. Yes, I have not investigated the trash cans yet. I, I like to do everything, but what I'm supposed to. Hold. Gumbolt logo basketball game. The Dean was a big fan of the Gumbolt moonbeams. And not just because his son was a prominent figure on the team. Well... A bench warmer, anyway. Bow tie. It can't be dandruff. He has no hair. I have a hunch it's powdered sugar. Powdered sugar donut. Maybe. The spoon. Looks like he accidentally put a spoon in his pocket instead of his pen. What do you eat for breakfast with a spoon? It's got a coffee stain on it. He's stirring coffee. Something in his pocket. I don't know when you're supposed to use this thing. Okay. Yes, hold the button. A thick bundle of note cards poked out of the Dean's pocket. What's he keeping so close to his chest? You've been making a lot of notes, Mr. Strasbury. Oh, I was intending to make a speech on Saturday. Why have you scratched out so much of it? Your mother suggested I keep it short, and quite right, too. I must have rewritten it 20 times by now. I just can't seem to find the right words. All right, we found four clues. He is missing a button here. Yes. Blood or jam? It's jam. The Dean didn't button his shirt properly. It looks like a blood stain, but the seeds indicate otherwise. His watch is slow. That's unlike the Dean. He's usually very punctual. Your watch is 45 minutes slow. Is it? Oh my! That explains why there was no cheesecake left in the cafeteria. <laughs> my head's not screwed on today. Thank goodness you noticed, or I'd be late for my meeting with your mother. Oh really? She didn't mention anything to me. Oh, well, of course she wouldn't. It's nothing important. The mother was being uh, rather secretive about something earlier. Why are you meeting then? It's just, um, she's helping me finalize my, my plans for, uh... Your party? Yes, that's it. My retirement party. Thank you. Are you okay, Mr. Strasbury? Of course. Now let me just fix my watch before I forget. <laughs> Now, where were we? Well, I needed a couple more clues. Ipsa scientia potestas est. Looks like Latin. What does it translate to? Your ring sure looks old. It was made for my grandfather. He passed it down to my father, who passed it down to me. And when the time comes, I'll pass it on to my son. The Strausberry family had been champions of education for generations. What does the inscription mean? Knowledge itself is power. The inquisitive spirit is a mighty thing, Jenny. And nothing is as important as the truth. Check your shoes. 
for the dean, being covered in plant life was not unusual. His work as a botanist was renowned. Looks like you're carrying some extra baggage today, Mr. Strasbury. Well, I do have a lot on my mind. I was referring to your legs. Oh, thank you. I have been doing my daily calisthenics. No, I, I mean the sticky stuff on your pants. What? Oh! Hitchhikers. I've been working on a new orchid hybrid in my greenhouse. They're beautiful, but the leaves are quite clingy. I will say, I am looking forward to spending more time in the dirt. So, what do you think, Jenny? Can you guess what I had for breakfast? Sure, Mr. Strasbury. I've got everything I need to solve this mystery. Coffee and a sugar donut, that is my guess. What did the Dean eat for breakfast? Wait, but there was also jam. Hmm. It was a filled sugar donut. Powdered sugar on the bow tie and jam. And that. I don't know. Jam on his shirt and powdered sugar on his tie. The evidence points strongly to the Dean's breakfast consisting of one, maybe two donuts. Nailed it. Nailed it. I got it. What else can I tell about the Dean's morning? He's been forgetful and has had a lot on his mind. He uh, didn't button his shirt correctly. His watch is slow. And he has a spoon in his pocket instead of a pen. The Dean had neglected to wind his pocket watch. The act of a distracted man. This resulted in his whole routine being thrown off. Which might explain why he has a spoon in his pocket instead of a pen. Yeah. Good job. You had a donut for breakfast. Yes? I'm guessing... I don't know. It had seeds. Strawberry. <laughs> How did you know? That part was easy. You always have donuts for breakfast. But something else caught my attention. Oh? I think you have something on your mind, Mr. Strasbury. You are usually a picture of precision and punctuality. But today, there's a spoon in your pocket and your shirt button is undone. My, my. You really are a Leclu. Your father would be so proud. Thanks. Well, I should be going. I'm meeting your son by the lake. <laughs> and I'm meeting your mother in the library. What a small world this is. Too small. A perfectly small world with everything in its right place. Who would want to change that? Pardon? Nothing. See you on Saturday. Oh, yes. Until we meet again, Jenny LeClue. You're not supposed to talk to the author, Jenny. Let's go investigate the trash cans now, okay? This way. I probably should finally check that out, yes? I don't know what I'm looking for here. There's something. Wait, yeah. Jenny had an instinct for sorting treasure from trash. To the untrained eye, this was just a discarded piece of an old postcard. But to Jenny, it was a mystery waiting to be solved. I should keep my eyes open for any other pieces. The puzzling postcard. Someone's reading there. Just randomly just sitting in the grass reading. What is this? Hey, you! Oh, hi there. What are you doing back there? Well, I was pruning. But then I discovered the cerulean bugberry bush. Discovered? These bushes are all over, Arthurton. Actually, this is an incredibly rare bloom. There's nothing rare about Arthurton. I beg to differ. Arthurton has many beautiful and exotic plants. I am interested. Really? Like what? Mushrooms with eyes that glow in the dark? Berries that emit a bioluminescent mist? 
and flowers with nectar as sticky as super glue. Where? I've never seen any of those things. Well, believe me, they do exist. I've had the pleasure of seeing them up close. That's one of the privileges of working for Dean Strasberry in his greenhouse. Anyway, I should get back to work. I want everything to be perfect for the Dean's retirement celebration. Okay. Uh, apparently I'm supposed to inspect something here. Oh, I guess it's easier to find stuff here. I don't need to just randomly search everything. Oh. Gallery item, yes. Who, would it, who could that be? Well, that's not creepy at all. In her short time as a detective, Jenny had learned never to ignore a ringing phone. I don't like answering the phone. Hello? The dog barks loudest before the dawn. What? CJ, is that you? The dog barks loudest before the dawn. Really? This again? It's me, Jenny. We don't need to do this. I have no idea who you are, and I know no one by that name. The dog barks loudest before the dawn. Fine. Horse or bird? The early bird can't catch the lazy worm. Good. The wind blows strongly from the east. I don't know. I have no idea. A watched pot feels very self-conscious. Excellent. The evening sky is full of fireflies. Can I not answer incorrectly? Is there no way I can get this wrong? Goldfish or donut? I don't know. The absent-minded goldfish swims into the blender. Ah! Jenny, it is you! Of course it is! I need to meet with you right away. Okay. Where do you want to meet? This place will do. Everyone in town knew that CJ was mad, even dangerous. Questionable grasp of reality. He's not dangerous. He just doesn't accept things at face value. Sure, he's a bit fixated on extraterrestrials, but at least he's passionate about something. CJ and Jenny certainly indulged each other's obsessions. And when it turns out aliens do exist, everyone's gonna know he was right all along. But most of all, CJ treated Jenny like a colleague. And not a little kid. CJ, why did we go through all that if you're right here? Can't be too careful. Are you sure you weren't followed? Who would be following me? Shh. This place is compromised. We don't have long to talk. Now, what did you want to talk to me about? Um, you're the one who called me. What? You called me. Did I? Why? Talking to CJ was a bit like navigating a maze. You had a rough idea of where you were headed, but you couldn't be sure you'd ever get there. I'll help you figure it out. The interrogation of CJ. You look tired, CJ. I saw them. There's a compass on the other side. I knew he was hiding something. A compass with strange symbols where the cardinal direction should be. Looks broken. Where did you get that compass? Ah, you spotted it. I knew you would. It belonged to my father. He left it to me to find the truth. You're not going to find anything with that. The needle is wandering all over the place. A bit like you. It's searching. For what? For them. It's this town, Jenny. It's Arthur. They're here, among us. And this proves it. Or it could just be broken. Could be. I guess we'll never know. 
But what would really make a compass wander like that? I'm only looking for three clues. Oh, there's another thing here. What does CJ stand for? Is it your birthday, CJ? Birthday? Whose birthday? Thanks, it's birthday. But Kaixa died on his birthday. Assassination? Possibly. He makes me think of Boyd Cooper from Psychonauts. Abduction? Almost certainly! CJ, the card? Oh, this. It's for you. Impossible shot. Died instantly. No suspects. No human suspects, anyway. Sorry about your dad, sad face. Thanks, CJ. That's, uh, thoughtful. I didn't think you'd remember. I know what it's like to lose something important to you. Now triple shred and incinerate that card as soon as possible! It's got my fingerprints all over it! There's something down here. Rosalina, not right now! Rosalina! She's meowing at the door because she's so silly. Yes, I keep forgetting to uh, hold on to this. What's that sticking out of your sock? Ah! That's what I wanted to talk to you about. I intercepted a secret message. Classified intel. It's proof, Jenny. It's happening again. And it's time for us to join the fight. This doesn't look like the kind of pamphlet he usually makes. They are coming for your pets. Are you prepared? Will you answer the call? It's being professionally printed. Could CJ finally be on to something? Flip? Oh, it's just part of a cereal box. Hurry, supplies are limited. Mail in your application, get your official Pop Flakes ray gun and flashlight. Just 11 to 15 weeks, just 5 box tops and 20 cents shipping. So cool! A cereal box from another space-time continuum? Nope, just a regular cereal box. It's an ad for a toy. But why? Why would it just be lying there in the trash? Because it is trash, silly. I'm sorry, CJ. There are still great mysteries out there to solve. But this isn't one of them. So what's the plan now? Library. Research. Very important. Very hush-hush. They let you back in? Not yet. But I've got this hut now. It wasn't your head that needed covering. No, for disguise! I know, CJ. What is it this time? More UFOs? Radio wave mind control? A globally connected communication network used exclusively to view pictures of cats? Jenny, you sound crazy. I'm just preparing my defense for the hearing. Is this because you tried to hypnotize Mrs. Brown's prize poodle? No. That was last week. It's because I peed in the water tower. Ew. CJ, that's gross. And this is the thanks I get for saving everyone from the mind control chemicals! Well, I guess I'll see you later then. But CJ was gone. CJ, I know you're standing behind the phone booth. I just watched you walk over there. No, I'm not. Okay then, bye. See you later. Well, he's an unusual dude. Talk to Ada. Hello. Hey! Ah! Damn. That's the third time today. Oops. Hi, Jenny. Great job solving that case today. It's really cute the way that you and your mom work together. I wish I was that close with my parent. Enough chit chat. Got anything new for me? Oh, yes. This is the real deal. Hot off the press. What's that guy doing laying on the rock back there? I haven't had a chance to distribute these yet, so keep them to yourself. Ada and Jenny belonged to one of the oldest societies in Arthurton. An eclectic band of treasure hunters, collectors, creators, and dealers. Together, they were known as... Sticker Club! For generations, Gumbold students had been hiding and finding stickers all over town. Stickers are fun! Officially, Jenny was too young to join. 
but she'd found so many stickers on her own that they'd made her an honorary member. Too young for sticker club. Stickers are for all ages. Let's see. Nice crisp edges, rich colors, very tacky. Thanks. I spent all week making these. If only you spend as much time in your schoolwork, you might not be failing my mom's class. Uh, Jenny thought to herself. It's to celebrate the Dean's retirement. I'm super sad that he's leaving, but... It's a perfect reason to make new stickers. Exactly! Oh, we're going on an epic sticker hunt before the Dean's party. You should join us! Even if Jenny had wanted to join them... And I don't. You don't want to join the sticker hunt! She knew she'd be stuck with her cousin all weekend. Thanks, but I work alone. I want to. I want to look for stickers. Oh, okay. See you around, Jenny. What am I looking at? There we are. Okay, I got another one. How much farther are we going? Yes? What, what are you looking at? Something here! Oh yeah, I got another one of these. Lake Nowhere, one mile. Let's go! Stop! Perfect! Hold it right there! Okay, let her go. Oh dear. That was not lined up well at all. That was ominous. Detective for Hire. Jenny had saved up the whole summer to place an ad in the local paper, but no one had answered it. Until now. What could this new case be? Her imagination ran wild, picturing the possibilities. And so, after helping her mom at Gumbolt College, she hurried to the pier at Lake Nowhere to rendezvous with her new client and crack another thrilling case. Is there any chance that was foreshadowing that the person who's going to be murdered is the Dean? But he seems so nice! Let's check out the lake in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, and as usual, don't forget to visit us at virtualbastion.com for more gaming goodness. Goodbye, and you're welcome.